Hello, this is Marvin Bi Marvin Byer at Marvel Ridge Farms. Today is November 15th. It's towards the evening and uh, we put a uh, temporary fence up so the cattle and sheep doesn't go over there because we want to let that grass rest for a while. This is where we're going to be feeding hay probably mostly all winter and uh, maybe some other spots once we get this uh, all occupied with rolled out hay or bale grazing here. This stuff is pretty short. There's a lot of clover in here. So hopefully they don't kill the clover from eating. But I think clover will go in dormant shortly, I would think. But these are our sheep. There's our livestock guardian dog. There's our bull and a few cows here and the calves. It's a beautiful day out, pretty calm. So I'll show you a picture of how our rolled out hay and bale grazing looks like. That's one of our newer ewe lambs that newer we bought. She has pretty color to her. Has an orange tag, all of ours that we uh, were born this year or past couple years have green tags. There's our other livestock like guardian dog over there on top of the hill. So I'm just kind of walking over here and show you how our hay looks like that we rolled out. So we rolled out a bale started up here and it went down that way. And we also started a bale right here looks like it and that went down the way. So I think my next time where I want to bale, roll bale is come up here farther on top of the hill and kind of go down at an angle where those sheep are going. And I'll probably start another bale on top of this hill over here and angle it going down this way I maybe cross on these hay bales you know where I rolled some ready but uh let's look closer at the ground here so you can see there's a lot of clover in here and a wild carrot some manure of sheep some manure more manure sheep but mostly it's all clover. I know there was a lot of uh, of uh, vetch, hairy vetch in here that reseed itself. I'm trying to see if I can find any, but I bet the sheep, oh, there's a, they're really small here. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see it, it's really short here. I'm probably gonna roll some hay over it but there is, our hairy vetch is really small, maybe an inch tall and just small leaves. Usually in the winter time, that's how it looks. I bet this is some uh, cedar rye here. The, the grass, I'm guessing, I don't know. But there's a thistle there. But you can tell the animals ate this down pretty short. I kind of wish, uh, you know, it would, I don't want to say it, this S word for snow to keep it covered and just roll bales out. Because uh, it's so much nicer not having uh, snow on the ground. But you know, as you tell where they manure and pee at the cows and the sheep, they don't really eat it there because they don't want to taste that. But there's not really that much grass going up in here. A lot of wild carrot. I did buy a bag of cereal rye and there's a few bare spots. I probably see that a little bit here and there. 
there's always some grass in this. When this was a, a cornfield, bean field, a lot of water went through here and kind of washed this out. I just spread a lot of sewer rye and hairy vetch down here. So there could be hairy vetch growing up here because I didn't want to wash this out anymore. But see the water wave came up to here and uh, it would have been ideally if we had to go all the way up there it would have made a lot more sense but you know I didn't own this property all the time and you know they we ran this ground out too but now it's going to be all pasture there's a lot of hairy vetch up in here small hairy vetch I'll probably put some uh, bales up here and I don't know if I'll roll it down or not but uh, I'll show you the bale I put out I don't know how many days ago it was and uh, for bale grazing and this is how it looks now it was Wednesday no I video on put the, what day was that Saturday I put this bale out Friday or Saturday last week I think it was and look at it it's pretty short and they're still eating it it didn't roll anywhere but you'll see in a maybe not next year but in two years this is going to be super tall and thick right here because all the nutrition I mean, this changed the whole water system right here. It will definitely uh, make the water go down in the ground. You can tell they're not getting as much uh, protein in their diet. The, doesn't have that little pie in it. That's what uh, some people call it. Here's one of our ewe lambs that was born this year. They're probably a little, want some more hay, but uh, We'll probably put a bale or two out tomorrow because uh, I start working Sunday night, four nights, and uh, work some days in overtime. Then it's going to be Thanksgiving week. But uh, here's some are sheep. I hope everybody has a good day and have a great weekend. Bye.